And a woman is using her sewing skills to help health workers by making homemade masks. Some hospitals are running low on face masks because of this pandemic. And as our Kendra LaFleur reports, it has one woman being creative. She joins us from Church Point with more. Kendria. It's all a way to help those on the front lines of the coronavirus pandemic, and it's reaching beyond Acadiana. Now we're filling orders from all over the country. We have Maryland, Chicago, Washington, Chicago, Texas, Atlanta, yeah. all over. Yeah. Brandy DeQueer, along with her friends and family, are keeping themselves busy, stitching homemade masks together, doing their part to fill in a need in the medical industry. Like everybody's saying, to flatten the curve, that these will at least help to keep people from purchasing the medical grade masks that everybody else needs. That are needed at the yeah, hospital. That are needed at the hospital. So it'll kind of shift from the medical masks to these, and they're cute. So, why not? <laughs> One was originally created for a friend. DeQueer posted the final product on Facebook and immediately more requests were made. She had to get help to create more. And one of the hands helping her are not from your ordinary seamstress. Well, my mom's on the sewing machine right now. My mom's a registered nurse, so I kind of got her opinion on the masks and she was like, these are really good masks. I'm sure they could use them. While the protective gear is being sold to some, they're being offered for free to hospitals in hopes of keeping those in a high risk environment safe. It's not really a, a set, a set number that we yeah. want to stop at, but we yeah. just want to make as many as we can as efficiently as we can and get them out to as many people yeah. as we can. And the group tells me they will continue creating as long as there is still a need. Reporting in Church Point, I'm Kendria LaFleur. Katie Anna doing what we do best while also 